Hello everyone, welcome to Quick Code Academy. Today in this video, I am going to tell you how we can override the CSS of Angular Material table in Angular 17. So without wasting any time, let's start with the video. In order to add table into your project, you need to visit material.angular.io. So this video I am making just to show you how we can add custom CSS to table. All this code I have already added into my uh, component. You can also do the same thing. So as you can see in my HTML, all the code is present and also that data configuration is also I have copied from material.angular.io. So from there, we can add that. So for many of you, you must have already added that and you just want to know how to overwrite the CSS. So let's start with that. If I go to my localhost 4200 you can see my table is already loaded so first what we will do we will try to change the css of the rows and we will give one color uh, to the odd and one color to the even rows okay so how we can do that from here you need to select this cursor you need to hover over it and you need to find the appropriate row so I have uh, found one row and here from here you can see this class is responsible for uh, changing the color and height of the row right so what I will do I will copy paste this I will copy this and I will go to style.scss okay which is global level CSS so here you don't have to add the ngd pen all Okay, but if you are using it in uh, your component level, then you may need to add this ng deep front of each class. Okay, so like this, we generally add like this ng deep. But since we are applying the CSS on the global style.scss file, so that's why that is not needed. So here, what I will do, I will apply some color to this row. So I will give background color and I, I, I have just uh, copied one color which I like. So I will paste it over here and then after that I need to write important. Okay, so that it will overwrite the CSS completely. So now let's just reload this table. See the color has changed but I want this color only to the alternate rows so what I will do I will simply say nth child and I will apply only to the odd rows okay so let's just see what happens let me reload again so now see only to the odd rows it is getting applied now I have to apply the color to the even row as well so i will add even over here even and then here i will give any color so let's say i want to give hash e e e let's see what that color is so here you can see it is supplying the shade of gray to my table so now the next part is we need to change the height right so for height also that same class name we can use so here this is responsible for height and we have already uh, copied that right so what I will do I will just copy paste this again because I want the style I want the height same to the all the rows so I will mention height and I will give that height as 30 px 30 px right and I will add important again just to make sure it's uh, getting overridden okay so now you can see the difference right previously we were having height more now we have reduced it to 30 pixels so now let's just say what I want is I don't want these borders over here okay so what I will do I will select this one and I will check which class is responsible for that so here I can see at a lot of uh, places border is mentioned and whenever I am unchecking that it's getting changed so that means 
this class is responsible for that so I will remove these borders completely okay so for that I will just mention that class name and here I will just mention border none border none or you can give the color if you want right so but from this class only you need to uh, do that so right now I don't uh, want that border because I want uh, this table to be minimalistic as possible see now the border has disappeared and since we have uh, the colors so that is why it is differentiable as well and we are clearly able to see the uh, difference between first row second row third row fourth row okay now commonly what we want is we want to change the header at, at many projects okay because the header colors are always uh, specific to the theme which is provided by your uh, project so what i will do i will ch try to change the header color as well so here from here i will check so from here when i'm hovering over it entire header is getting checked and if you see it's getting highlighted and over here if you see all this color background is set to inherit but we need to change that so what i will do i will copy only this class mat mdc header row and this is only applicable to the latest versions okay because previously this mat mdc thing and all was missing okay so that is why if you can see the class name uh, have been changed in the latest version of angular material okay so previously if you are using some classes and if you migrate to angular 17 then those classes won't be applied to your table okay so here also i will change background i will set background color to i have copied one class uh, i have copied one color okay so i will mention it over here and same I will mention important okay now let me go back to my browser let me refresh it say only background because here also the background property is mentioned so we will apply same instead of saying background color we will just mention background now let's just see see it's getting applied and now you can see since the background color is prominent and that text header is in black color so that is we can uh, that is why we can barely see it so what i will do i will change the color as well so since i have changed the background so i will just mention color and here i will mention white so that it is clearly visible so now let's just go back to our browser let refresh let's refresh it it's not getting changed so what we will do we will apply important and let's let's just see see it's changed so earlier how it was looking and now you can see so le let me comment this now and we can clearly see the difference so if i'm commenting this so now you can see it used to look like this and if i come uncomment this then you can see the difference okay so it looks more aesthetic so in this way you can perform customization on your angular material table so thank you for watching this video i hope you like it make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you